The undisputed WWE Universal Champion has arrived at SmackDown. Without Regal and Reigns, this guy would be working at the concession stand. That's more than an exaggeration, Corey. He put on a show at SummerSlam, and I, for one, think SmackDown got a steal in the draft. Yeah, we'll see. Miz. Good to see you too, champ. Come on, what's with the boo-boo face when I'm the one who liberated you from his lordship? I didn't need liberating. Let's skip the pleasantries. You wanted the WWE Universal Champion on SmackDown. Here I am. What I wanted is the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The champion can be anyone who understands what it means to represent the most must-see sports entertainment show on Earth. You think you're that guy? What I think is that I'm my own man, and the WWE Universe will come along with me or they won't. I'm not doing dog and pony shows for anyone. You might be your own man, but you are playing in my sandbox. And you can play big, bad, counterfeit, stone cold all you want, but you will quickly realize you're just making your life harder. I've never been one for the easy way. Good. That's the perfect attitude for your very first SmackDown main event. Since you were so ready to face Cody Rhodes on Raw, I can only assume you are ready for Kevin Owens tonight. I beat KO in the tournament, and I will gladly beat him again. Excellent! And just a heads up, I might come see your match in person. You know, just an impartial observer to get a closer look at the champion I drafted. Absolutely no other reason at all. See you out there. A lot's changed since the last time we spoke in an empty arena. Indeed. That night I gave you an opportunity, and you took full advantage. I guess. Most everyone in the WWE Universe thinks Roman Reigns won me the title, and KO only beat himself to get me there. There will always be doubters. Every WWE Universal Champion will be in the shadow of Roman Reigns in one way or another. At least until someone can break the record with the title. Well, that's pretty much an impossible goal. Perhaps. My point is that you should take it a step at a time. You'll be the dark horse until one day you turn around and someone calls you the favorite. I think that might be a ways off. I'll just have to keep winning. A dominant victory over Owens tonight will go a long way towards answering that question in SmackDown's locker room, if not with its general manager. Miz can be a real tosser. <laughs> Quite right. But it seems to me that he has also given you an opportunity to prove he and the doubters wrong. That's what being a champion is, huh? A constant battle to prove you deserve your spot at the top of the card. Indeed it is, my boy. Indeed it is. The following is a tables, ladders, and chairs match. And is for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. arrived time to fight owens fight introducing the challenger from marieville quebec canada weighing in at 266 pounds kevin owens a major name before wwe but now has a hall of fame worthy resume He's won the Universal title. He's competed in the main event of WrestleMania, and KO still isn't done fighting. Since day one, it has been about one thing. Fight Owens, fight. And the time to fight is just moments away.
It's the journeyman who's now on a journey to and Greece. Athens, the champion from Athens, Greece, weighing in at 218 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, John Green. There's a lot of hype surrounding this guy, but I'm not convinced there's enough talent to back it up. Frankly, I'm starting to think that Dark Horse is nothing more than a forgettable donkey. Hey, donkeys play a vital role in agriculture, and this guy is playing a vital role in today's WWE. Seriously, Byron? For a superstar that always has something to prove, his next opportunity starts now. As the undisputed WWE Universal Championship literally hangs in the balance, the fresh champion looks to prove himself again against Kevin Owens. Well, not just Kevin Owens. It's Kevin Owens plus tables, ladders, and chairs. I'm no mathematician, but that adds up to a bad night for the champ. Both of these men will leave with bruises tonight, but only one will be leaving with that championship. He climbs into the ring. From the top, double axe handle connects. Able to parry that one. Springboard misses the target. Nailed it, Shining Wizard. Bang, take a seat at the table. Looks like he has something planned with his table, guys. Oh, oh no. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. Taking his chances on a make-or-break moment, and I do mean break. Taking this match off the mat now. From the heavens. Oh. Owens running into some trouble. Owens needs to find an opening. Body leg drop. The challenger's looking shaken. To the outside. This could get wild. Heading back to the ring. No! Oh, no! Crashing hard onto the floor. That was playing with fire and getting burned. The decision to take such a risk at this... Uh-oh! Stop! Big move taking a piece out of each competitor. Gotta dig deep and find the endurance to climb the ladder. Overhand right lands. Don't come over here! Saxton is a human shield. Nasty right hand. It's a carry to the floor. And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. Followed by Larry right to the face. blood coming from Owen's head now. He's able to sidestep there. Big back body draw. You see the height on that? Oh my God, a steel champ. Ooh. The champ getting put on the back foot here. Signature.
signature aggression from Owens on display. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. He returns to the ring. It. No getting up from that. And now he's standing it right up in the middle of the ring. Right where it needs to be. Here we go. Making that all-important climb up the ladder. I think this is it. Got a hold of it. Yeah, let's see how long that lasts. Going for all the glory here, guys. Looks like that ladder set up perfectly in the center of the ring. The champion returns.